हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द ओल्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ मैथ्स दिस सेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट इन टीचर्स एन आर देयर सच दैट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू रूट एन एंड सेवन इज लेस देन वन आई लेबल दिस टू नंबर ए एंड बी एंड इन मैथमेटिक्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी इज रिटन एज आइदर ए माइनस बी और बी माइनस ए सो अकॉर्डिंग टू गिवन क्वेश्चन ए माइनस बी लेस देन वन और बी माइनस ए लेस देन वन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट टू इन टू रूट एन माइनस सेवन लेस देन वन और सेवन माइनस टू रूट एन लेस देन वन नाउ सोल दिस इन क्वालिटी वन बाई वन इन फर्स्ट इन क्वालिटी टू रूट एन लेस देन एट दिस टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस एट दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट रूट एन लेस देन फोर से दिस इन क्वालिटी फर्स्ट नाउ सेकेंड इन क्वालिटी दैट इज सेवन माइनस टू रूट एन लेस देन वन एक्चुअली इन दिस इन क्वालिटी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट रूट एन इंडिपेंडेंटली सो वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस इन क्वालिटी बाई माइनस वन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट माइनस ऑफ सेवन माइनस टू रूट एन इन अंडर मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाई माइनस दिस इन क्वालिटी साइन दैट इज चेंज इन टू दिस इन क्वालिटी दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट my greater than minus 1 this implies that minus multiplied inside that is minus 7 plus 2 root n greater than minus 1 uh, this implies that this minus 7 goes to this side and this implies that 2 root n greater than 6 and this implies that root n greater than 3 uh, we say this inequality 2 now from uh, 1 and 2 we have 3 less than root n And less than four, uh, we square this inequality in both side. That is three power two less than n less than four power two. Uh, as we know that in mathematics, three power two that is three into three, which is equals to nine. And similarly, four power two is equals to four into four that is equals to sixteen. Uh, this implies that nine less than n less than sixteen. Uh, this implies that from this inequality, n can assume the value of ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That is, we have six possibilities of integer which satisfy given condition. Now, in a given question, uh, we have to find out the cardinality of such n. That is, zero, two, four, six, eight, and we getting six. This implies that. Option D is correct. Two question second. That is, uh, David has two boxes containing shapes. In box A, there are four stars and two hearts. In box B, there are two stars and one heart. Firstly, David takes a random shape from box A and then put it into box B. And secondly, David takes a shape from box B. And finally, in question. What is the probability that uh, this shape is a star? Actually, this question based on two experiment. So initially, we have uh, four star, two hearts, two star, one hearts. For simplicity, I break this question into two parts. That is, in first experiment, box A to box B, one shape is drawn. Uh, that is, uh, that can be star or heart. In ex experiment second. A shape is drawn from box B, and in question we have to find out uh, this shape should be star and find this probability. For simplicity, I say this element is E. Now, case first. If uh, shape is a star from A to B box, actually in initial stage A have four star. and if a shape is star from a to b then box b have three star and one heart because in initial stage box b have just two star and one heart one star is added in this box this implies that probability of e in this case is 4 upon 6 and 3 upon 4 4 upon 6 come from experiment first and 3 upon 4 Come from experiment second. Actually, four upon six means shape is star from A to B. This means that uh, in four shape, uh, there are possibility that 
वन शेप इज गोज सो फोर अपॉन सिक्स बिकॉज ए हैव इन टोटल सिक्स शेप्स एंड आउट ऑफ विच फोर आर स्टार सो फोर अपॉन सिक्स एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट सेज दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट सेकेंड सेज दैट डेविड टेक ए शेप दैट इज स्टार फ्रॉम बॉक्स बी नाउ आफ्टर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट सेकेंड बॉक्स बी हैव थ्री स्टार एंड वन आर्ट सो इन टोटल बॉक्स बी हैव फोर शेप्स इन विच थ्री आर स्टार एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ स्टार सो थ्री अपॉन फोर विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन टू से दिस इक्वेशन फर्स्ट नाउ कम टू केस टू इफ शेप इज हार्ट फ्रॉम बॉक्स ए टू बी एज वी नो दैट बॉक्स ए हैज टू आर्ट्स नाउ आफ्टर putting box b have two star and two arts because in initial stage box b have two star and one art one art is added in this box implies two art now probability of e in this case is 2 upon 6 and 2 upon 4 actually this come from experiment first and this come from experiment second from experiment first uh, actually in box uh, in box a we have total six shapes but we draw art so out of two arts probability of uh, this art is 2 upon 6 and in experiment seconds david take a shape in uh, final stage uh, box b have a two star that is 2 upon 4 this equals to 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 2 this is equals to 1 upon 6 say equation 2 Uh, from these two cases we have probability of e is equals to 1 upon 2 from case 1 and 1 upon 6 from case 2 this equals to 8 upon 12 which simplifies as 2 upon 3 uh, now come to question uh, to 1 upon 12 wrong 4 upon 9 this is also wrong 2 upon 3 this is a correct answer for this question next question that is which of the expression below has the largest value for 0 less than x less than 1 actually this domain nothing x belongs to 0 comma 1 open interval uh, for this question firstly we solve option e that is as 0 less than x less than 1 this implies that uh, root 0 less than root x less than 1 this implies that 0 less than root x less than 1 and uh, actually this uh, this inequality hold because uh, root uh, root uh, root function is a strictly increasing function in uh, 0 comma 1 now this implies that uh, from this uh, root x for root x uh, range is equals to 0 comma 1 now come to next option for option b as uh, 0 less than x less than 1 this implies that uh, 0 square less than x square less than 1 this implies that uh, 0 less than x square less than 1 this implies that uh, for x square range is equals to 0 comma 1 now come to option c as uh, 0 less than x less than 1 this implies that uh, in this inequality we use uh, plus 1 in all side this equals to 1 less than x plus 1 less than 2 as in mathematics if uh, 0 less than a less than b less than c this implies that 1 upon a greater than 1 upon b greater than 1 upon c uh, from this result uh, this uh, this implies that 1 upon 1 greater than 1 upon x plus 1 greater than 1 upon 2 uh, for 1 upon 1 plus x range is equals to 1 upon 2 comma 1 actually this is open interval 1 comma 2 to 1 now come to next option Uh, for option d as uh, 0 less than x less than 1 this implies that uh, 0 less than root x less than 1 in mathematics as we know that if uh, 0 less than y less than 1 this implies that uh, 1 less than 1 upon y less than infinity so here we put uh, y is equals to root x so from this we have 1 less than 1 upon root x less than infinity this implies that for 1 upon root x range is equals to 1 to infinity now come to next option that is option a as we know that 0 less than x less than 1 this implies that from previous result 1 less than 1 upon x less than infinity 
this implies that for uh, one upon x range is equals to one comma infinity open interval uh, come to options in for, for option a we have range is equals to one comma infinity and for option b range is equals to zero comma one and uh, for option c range is equals to one comma two one upon two comma one and for option d range is equals to one comma infinity and for option e range is equals to zero comma one now from these options we notice that uh, this option this option and uh, this option are eliminate because uh, in question we have asked about the largest value in for this largest value can be one for this one and for this one so and for option a and option d largest value is infinity now this is a single choice question so for this a and d we have to verify which is greater than other now come as we know that in uh, zero less than x less than one that is uh, for x belongs to zero comma one open interval uh, x less than root x this implies that one upon x greater than one upon root x this implies that one upon x is higher than one upon root x so this implies that from option a and d option a is more correct and option d is less correct so in for this question uh, option a is correct now come to next question that is the graph below shows the line joining a and b in this graph uh, this bold line is joining by point A and B. Uh, I labeled this line by L2 that is y equals to m2x plus c2 where m2 is the slope of line L2 and uh, to this line perpendicular bisector shown by Des's line and this is Des's line which is perpendicular to this first line and uh, passes through its a midpoint because it's a bisector of uh, this implies that it passes through midpoint actually say this point c as we know that uh, from midpoint formula c equals to uh, arithmetic mean of first two coordinates uh, comma arithmetic mean of last two coordinates this implies that c equals to 4 comma 2 uh, this implies that c equals to 4 comma 2 and this l1 line passes through this 4 comma 2 point now in question we have to find out the equation of Des's line that is we have to find out the uh, equation of line l1 now come to explanation actually for this question uh, we have to remember two result that is result first and result second result first says that uh, for two lines l1 and l2 if line l1 and l2 are parallel then their slopes are equal always and if line l1 and l2 are perpendicular then product of their slope equals to minus 1 always and the result 2 says that slope of line l passes through two point that is x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 equals to uh, ratio of uh, their differences of coordinates that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 uh, using this two result uh, uh, now we come to our next explanation that is uh, slope of line L2 which passes through these two points using result 2 m2 equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this is equals to 2 upon 4 which is further simplified as 1 upon 2 so this implies that we have m2 is equals to 1 upon 2 now using result first as we know that uh, in given question l1 and l2 are perpendicular lines this implies that m1 and m2 equals to minus 1 this is a direct result uh, this implies that m1 e m1 into 1 upon 2 equals to minus 1 and this implies that m1 equals to minus 2 uh, this we have as we know that uh, equation of line l1 equals to y equals to m1x plus c1 uh, in this equation we have find it uh, m1 this implies that y equals to minus 2x plus c1 now for this c1 
actually this l1 line that is dashes line passes through 4,2 that is midpoint of these two points this implies that in geometry if uh, any line is passes through given point then this given point always satisfy this line uh, this implies that uh, uh, 4,2 point satisfy l1 line that is if we label this x comma y then this point must satisfy this equation that is y equals to 2 equals to minus 2 and x is equals to 4 plus c1 uh, after simplification 2 equals to minus 8 plus c1 and we get c1 equals to 10 and uh, now from given equation y equals to minus 2x plus 10 l1 y equals to minus 2x plus 10 uh, this implies that option A is incorrect and option B incorrect option C correct and option D and E are incorrect so next question uh, in this question uh, a square piece of matter has a semicircular piece cut out of its shown in figure and the area of the remaining metal is 100 cm and uh, find out the correct expression of the length of side of square in centimeter actually from the given question uh, this is a whole square and in this whole square the, this green part of a semicircular is cut out and the remaining part is orange colored so say this is first part and this is second part and uh, for this question this is L side and this is L side uh, for this semicircle this is L by 2 this is L by 2 that is this R radius radius area of first is 100 centimeter and let L, L be the length of given square now for this question uh, area of a given square is equals to area of first part and area of second part as we know that if we know the length of square then area of a square is equals to length into length equals to area of first given 100 centimeter square and uh, area of second that is a second is a semicircular part and this is equals to 1 upon 2 area of a whole part that is pi r square and in this question r is equals to l upon 2 this implies that l square is equals to 100 plus 1 upon 2 pi l upon 2 square uh, this is equals to l square is equals to 100 plus 1 upon 2 pi l square upon 4 now this part of uh, l square left hand side this equals to l square 1 minus pi upon 8 is equals to 100 and l square equals l square into 8 minus pi upon 8 this is equals to 100 now come to next and now we separate l square is equals to 100 into 8 upon 8 minus pi as the length is positive this implies that l is equals to square root of 100 into 8 upon 8 minus pi this can be written as Square, or square root of 100 into square root of 8 upon square root of 8 minus pi as we know that 100 is equals to 10 square then square root of 100 is equals to 10 and as 8 is equals to 2 power 2 into 2 this implies that square root of 8 is equals to 2 into root 2 now from this expression uh, we have l is equals to 10 into 2 20 root 2 upon 8 minus pi now collect this term again this is equals to 20 into square root of 2 upon as we know that our l is equals to 20 root 2 upon 8 minus pi so first is incorrect and second incorrect third incorrect and uh, this is correct and this is incorrect